Oh, no blood! Sucks! Bill Slump's package contents. Detergent pods. Bomb. They don't say the ocean salty thought. Greetings, I am beckoning you. You are beckoned. Do not disrespect my beckoning. That's <laughs> the guy. Oh my god, you want to play collector the allocating with me for real? Oh, you've already started collecting cards. Here, let me gift you another as a welcome to the gamer community. Wow. Barfazard, yo. Acid type. Purge. Discard your entire deck onto the floor and then leave without cleaning it up. Projectile vomit monster. Barfazard enjoys listening to classical music when it isn't busy throwing up, which is almost never. Amazing. Oh, thank you. A cool nerd card. Great. Love it. Now people are going to think I'm a nerd. Don't overthink it. Just get a full set of nine cards and come back here so we can play. It's such an amazing game full of rewarding depth and beautiful art. You play as a powerful and rich wizard entrepreneur obsessed with amassing a giant collection of the multiverse's rarest and most powerful creatures. And you battle them to destroy other magical trillionaires' collections yeah. and naturally defend your own. I know. It sounds amazing. Just find some way of calming yourself down like I do. Otherwise, you might get too excited. Oh, boy. I'm getting too excited right now. I gotta calm down. Oh, oh, holy shit. Go get that full set of cards and come back here. I need to play so bad. <laughs> so... We're a little old, so a lot of people are not going to get this reference. This reminds, this reminds me of Night of Roxbury. <laughs> what, what are you doing? That's the ambulance. Coming to take, <laughs> coming to take me away. <laughs> I provide helpful tours for visitors to Peroxis. If you're interested, that is. This is really annoying. <laughs> You sure as heck picked a good time to visit Peroxis. It's gorgeous this time of year, as you can plainly see. Yeah. And you got here right after tourist season. Can I suggest some beautiful local spots to check out while you're in town? Yeah, sure, that could be fun. Amazing! Well, let's see. There's the Crash Ship, Hoopa Bay, the French Spires, of course, and, uh, oh, Sparkler's Grotto. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying, bro. Oh, yeah, it's him. Like, she's saying something, but all you hear is BAM! BAM! Like, bro, I probably killed somebody with that with that noise right now. But holy crap, that's what it sounds like to me, man. Yo, I'm sorry. Yeah, that was a little loud. My bad. All right. <laughs> Let's go to the crash ship. How about you pop over to the site of the old crash spaceship? Give her a gander. Take this postcard to show you the way. Postcard, crash spaceship. The postcard depicting this crash spaceship on Prox is cool. Oh, a crash ship sounds fun. A good reminder not space drink and space drive. Sparkler's Grotto. Oh, Sparkler's Grotto! That's a good one. You'll need this postcard here to find it. Sparkle's Grotto, Postcard the Big Thing Game on Paroxys. On the island where Toxo's taking his big old bath, <laughs> that was you can find this amazing cave full of crystals. Sounds magical, no? Hmm, I guess we'll have to see for ourselves. <laughs> How about this for a slice of local charm? Hook Bug Bay is real nice this time of year. Take a trip and enjoy the unique fauna. Hook Bugs. Here. Have a postcard to find it. Hookbug Bay, a postcard depicting the tourist destination of Paroxys called Hookbug Bay. Hookbugs aren't exactly unique to Paroxys, but okay, sure, dude. French Spires? You have to see the French Spires! Take this postcard! Two rock formations on Paroxys that supposedly look like snails kissing. I guess. Not really, but sure. 
You'll get the idea fast. They're named that way because they remind us of two snails kissing with tongue. <laughs> and yeah. there's a planet called France. Little insider secret there where they kiss with tongue. I've seen it myself. Ooh, I gotta try that. Seen the big rocks, I mean. I've done kissing before. It rolls. I'm like, I love it. I love it. No visit to Paroxys is complete without a visit to Sparklers Grotto. Did you see the books yet? In Hookbook Bay? That's the next part of this quest. Remember that. I gave you a quest, a really fun one. Hey, uh, hey, if you're having trouble finding anything, just use the postcards. They, they got everything you need. Did you get lost looking for the Fred Spires? Uh, I just know you can't wait to get there. You're probably wandering around all horny and stuff, just waiting to get your rocks off. <laughs> rocks off, that's good. <laughs> I'm funny sometimes. Anytime I'm having trouble finding a cool spot, I just look at one of my fun postcards and I wander around until I see a place that looks exactly like the photo. It's that easy. I hope you're on your way to see those giant sexy rocks I told you about. Hey, remember the postcard I gave you? Look at it, it'll help. Hey, remember the postcard I gave you? Keep looking for those cards. I'll be here waiting to play with you. You better come back. I've literally asked everyone else on this planet, and you're the only one who said yes. Yo. Remember to eat a few servings of salt while you're searching for cards. Card games are important, but your health comes first. My girlfriend broke up with me recently, so now my cards are basically my new girlfriend. And let me tell you, the sex is, uh, not so good. Bruh. People ask me why I spend so much money on little pieces of cardboard. I have a lot of trouble answering that. I, I think there's just something fucked up in my head. Yo, they just, like, just, just shit on everyone who collects cards, bro. I'm so excited for the new collector, the allocating set. They're saying it's supposed to be the most expensive one yet. Ah, there's just something about the rush of opening a new pack of cards. The anticipation as you hold it, the crinkle of the plastic tearing open, the smell of freshly printed cards. It's better than doing human. Uh, uh, not that I've done human. I would never do human. Whoa, those legs go all the way up. Nasty. What? Okay, so here's something you actually might not know about Muxalon Shipping Company. They repurposed Sam Schnott's old Duffalo Ranch to be their own proprietary cargo transport system. And when you think about the logistics there, that's really impressive. You may or may not know this, I'm going to tell you now just in case. We have an old saying here on Paroxys. Use every part of the duffalo. The bones for tools, their hides for clothing, meat for food. But there's a reason that is an old saying, because now we can just order everything straight from Muxalon. Unfortunately, I do hear a lot of slander about the Muxalon Shipping Company, and say what you will, but they do provide a lot of jobs for former G3 in the area. Some lucky people even get to work three or four jobs a day. But if I was an old boy, I'd eat it every day, for every meal, like the rest of you are already doing. Notice how healthy I am. Not a single cough in months. And why is that? Salt! Again, I don't eat it because I'm allergic, but I do rub it all over. I rub it all over my body in secret. Yeah. Hi there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Bad cough been going around these parts for years now. No clue why. I'm sure it'll let up soon. Just gotta keep up the old salt regimen. Nothing that tastes that good can be bad for you. <laughs> okay. Let's say the salt really is what's making us sick. Those jeans. <laughs> you know what? No. I'm not even entertaining that thought. It's not the salt. We love the salt. Hmm? Why do we eat salt? Why did my pet dog eat chocolate? Why does my pet dog skeleton eat nothing at all? <laughs> Some questions simply have no answers. Pray. What was 
that? What? Hey there, Pseudo here. I've been doing research on Paroxys just in case what I can find that? something that'll help you out. And I found out that they play a sport here called Paroxo Squash. So if you see a Paroxo Squash court, go uh, check that out. Maybe it'll be helpful. I don't know if this is helpful or not. I'm just I'm just trying to be part of this mission and give you information. So don't fucking don't get mad at me. All right. <laughs> Oh, yeah! Wow. I guess so, yeah. Damn, I wish I saw that. Yeah. Salt Lake City, population 32. Package for ya! Ernie Stump's package con contents, folding lawn chair. Pseudo here. I'm picking up some strange readings over at the Paroxo Squash Court. Maybe there's something useful there for us. Maybe there isn't. Maybe it's just. Uh, maybe I'm broken. Who fucking. Who cares? You wanna go in there? Go, go ahead. your problem. Too hydrated? Gotta get you some salt. What you got in mind? been crazy for us ever since the whole G3 incident. I mean, us being drugs and all. Still a little scary taking vacations like this. I always worry someone's gonna try to smoke me. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I'm sure it'll be fine as long as that heroic bounty hunter who saved us is still out there. Wait, wait, hold up. Bounty suit, talking guns. You're not... Are, are you the famous bounty hunter who saved humanity from the G3? You are, aren't you? Hey, look, uh, don't say anything. Uh, I will keep your secret. I will not tell anyone. I'm gonna- this is just between us, okay? You can trust me. I'm your new- I'm your new best friend. I'm not saying a goddamn thing. This fucking rules, by the way. 
bounty hunter. Just on the DL, just real quick, between us. What's a, what's a hero like you doing here on Paroxys? You hunting a crazy bounty? Are you hunting a crazy bounty? Let me take a selfie with you. Oh, that's not cool. I'm sorry. I don't know why I asked that. I'm not gonna ask. Not gonna make you uncomfortable. I am normal. I'm acting cool. I'm just gonna stare at you. Soak in your vibes. Very cool vibes. I'm really enjoying your vibes. That's all I need. I'm just gonna stare and soak. Yo. Stare and soak. This freaking guy, man. Whoa! Hey there, hot stuff. Why don't you come on down and learn Paroxo Squash from the hottest coach on Paroxys? Hmm. You ever hmm. played Paroxo Squash before? With a body like that, you'd be great. I'd be very happy to teach you. Oh, shit! You're not a slug! Sorry, I'm not wearing my glasses. I thought you were a sylph from far away. Not gonna explain what Yo. that stands for. Oh, please. I know what sylph stands for, okay? Look, you're not my usual type, but I'll still teach you Paroxo Squash if you're interested. I'm a pretty good coach. You got something to launch balls with? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe we got something in the lost and found bin for you. Go dig around in there and take whatever you find. Then I'll teach you the ropes. Oh, that's ball. Fred. It's an acronym. I forget what it stands for. But they operate <laughs> the gun for you and shoot out balls. So there you go. Doesn't need to stand for anything. Just shoots balls. You ready to learn how to use it? I'll teach you. All right. Game's easy enough. Just use ball and try hitting those targets. Go on. Give it a try. Taking ball out for a real spin. Play ball! Nice! Fuck yeah!
Yes. Hell yeah. Take this package as your prize. I gotta say, usually I only like this game because it's a great way to meet slug wives, but watching hmm. you play, you reminded me that I love this sport. But seriously, if you're ever looking to get with a real slimy slug, ah, look, just stick with the mm -hmm. game and you'll go far. Urban sesame. Fluky virus type. Infect. Blow your nose into a napkin until wet, then shuffle it into the deck of the player closest to you. Flu monkey monster. Fluky is found deep in the jungle as well as offices, playgrounds, trains, airports, and retirement homes. They are not pets. They will kill you. Hey, you fucking idiot. 